Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm the Cat Foster Manager with Rough Start Rescue. Today we're going to talk about feline leukemia, which is one of the most common infectious diseases that affects almost 3% of cats in the U.S. Feline leukemia weakens a cat's immune system and increases their susceptibility to other diseases. Although there are no telltale signs of feline leukemia, some of the symptoms may include weight loss, lethargy, or fever. The virus is carried through saliva, nasal secretions, feces, or even passed down from a mom to her kittens. Sharing litter boxes, bowls, and mutual grooming between cats is one of the easiest ways to spread it from cat to cat. Since there's no treatment for feline leukemia, there are a few things to prevent a feline leukemia diagnosis. Firstly, keeping your cat indoors is the easiest way to do so. Without any exposure, there's no way they can get it. If your cat's an indoor-outdoor cat, we recommend yearly visits for a feline leukemia test as well as following up with your vet about a feline leukemia vaccine. Unfortunately, feline leukemia is a fast-moving disease and the average lifespan after diagnosis is only four to five years. However, most cats can go on to live happy, healthy lives. Feline leukemia is species-specific, so it can only be passed from cat to cat. Cats with feline leukemia are just as deserving as a welcoming home, and we are always encouraging our adopters to look into adopting a cat with a diagnosis.